Today on the channel, you think you know me, but do you know my list? And today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 10 with my top 10 favorite Edge figures of all time. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 10, a Thursday tradition here on the channel where we count down our top five or, like today, top 10 favorites of something. And today, we got a very timely countdown as we got the top 10 edge figures of all time. Not quite Adam Copeland, and I'm sure we're going to see quite a few of those in the future, so be prepared from that from the Jazzware side of things. But we're doing our top 10 edge countdown here in honor of of 34,000 subscribers on this very YouTube channel, I thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to this channel. And Edge, one of the heavy hitters, and we're doing it here for 34,000. And don't forget, we also have a second YouTube channel, Kyle Peterson 2.0, and we're doing weekly countdowns on that channel as well. So if you like these countdowns, there's even more for you on a weekly basis over on that channel. So make sure you remember to check that one out and make sure you subscribe to that channel as well. But Edge, one of the all-time greats, of course, a WWE Hall of Famer, and now uh, getting his paychecks from AEW, I guess. And I'm sure he's got some royalty checks from WWE still, but AEW is his home, so quite the shake-up there. It feels like the Monday Night War is all over again. It feels like somebody jumping back and forth. Definitely a different time, maybe not quite the same as WCW, WWE, but gives you a little bit of that vibe. I'm here for that. I got no issues with that. And Edge, an all-time favorite of mine in the ebbs and flows of Edge's career. And I think we all enjoyed when Edge came back at the Royal Rumble many years ago at this time. It's been quite a few years. And we've had a lot of Edge figures from Mattel and Jax, of course. And like I said, soon to be AEW. I'd have to imagine that'll be fast-tracked probably very soon. Definitely going to see some of that in 2024. Would not be shocked to see a Supreme uh, coming our way over there as well. And it's always kind of sad sometimes when people go back and forth between the different companies as, you know, there's a lot more Mattel edges we could have got. A lot of cool Ultimate Editions we could have got. Unfortunately, those probably are not going to be in the cards unless it's a Billy Gunn situation or something like that, but I just don't see that being the case there. But Edge will be fun, and actually it'll be over by the time the majority of the people see this video, but I will be actually in Kansas City for that AEW show for Edge's first match ever, and he's got a tough opponent. He's got, of course, a channel favorite as his opponent, one Luchasaurus. Oh, that's going to be a tall task for uh, old Adam Copeland, but something tells me he's probably going to get by Luchasaurus. We'll see what happens there, but I'll be there firsthand, and we'll probably talk about it on Weekly Purchases Toy News uh, the following week, so we'll stay tuned for that as well. But of course, as I always say, this is my list. This is my top 10 list. Put your top 10 list in the comments down low. Make sure you put them in order. That is the hard part, but that is also the fun part. So without further ado, let's kick it off at number 10. All right, we kick off the Edge top 10 at, of course, number 10. And the number 10 Edge figure here is about as deep of a cut as it does get. I want to say we might have had one of these figures one other time in one of these top 5, top 10 lists. Maybe not. I can't remember. But this is really one that's probably not going to be on a lot of people's lists. But it does come from Jax. It does come from Series 3. But Series 3 of what? That's the question. Well, it is the Maximum Aggression. Of course, Jax had... Uh, ruthless Aggression, Deluxe Aggression, Micro Aggression, and Maximum Aggression. It is a giant edge figure. It is basically uh, almost a Deluxe Aggression uh, upsized to the next scale here. So you get all the bells and whistles, all the articulation of the Deluxe Aggression figures. However, you get it in a much bigger size. And there's something cool about this edge one. Always like this Jack screaming face for Edge. Of course, it being a bigger figure just feels a little bit more detailed, feels a little bit more statuesque because it is so big. And then we also got this same attire, same kind of look in the Deluxe Aggression, uh, Ruthless Aggression, and probably even Micro Aggression. So that's one of the fun things you can do with Jax is you can really go all the way down to Micro Aggression, 
Build and Brawl, uh, Ruthless Aggression, Deluxe Aggression, Maximum Aggression. Some of them like CM Punk as well as another one, Triple H, and Rey Mysterio. I mean, it goes on and on. You can get kind of the, the uh, lineup of height as the figures go through. But just a really fun one. I don't have this entire line. I'm not against it. They're fairly hard to get these days. But they were on deep clearance back in the day at Kmart. And I think that's where I probably got this edge from. But a fun one here. Coming in at number 10, Maximum Aggression Series 3 from Jax. It's time for number nine in our Edge countdown here, and this is a fairly recent release Edge figure. We're going all the way back to Elite Series 94, not too long ago, 10 sets ago or so as I'm filming this. But we're going to Elite 94 Edge, and a figure so nice, I bought it twice. And it is a pretty good Edge figure. Uh, I can see some people not liking this, and I think it's been a mixed bag in the uh, resurgence of Edge, including his Ultimate Edition, a few Elites and Basics, um, as he's come back to wrestling. A lot of people not liking the more older, haggard face sculpt on him, but I do think the Mattel team did a pretty good job on those, uh, all things considered. And this figure I actually bought twice. I was so torn how to display this one. I waited for a ringside clearance sale. I picked up a second version uh, down the road. Said, I'm going to play a little waiting game. I'll get a second one. And that's what I did. So you can, of course, have him in his white coat, a uh, very famed white coat, or without. I think I lead to preferring him without the coat, but I got this one just in case. So I can display both looks. They feel a little bit different. Use different hands on them. The usual song and dance we do on some of these figures when you try to make them different. But I like the old haggard head on Edge. I think it does look pretty good. I know all day long this is Edge, so I always do that. The head test, would you know who this is for me? I know it is Edge. I like the rated R gear here. I like the maroon color against the white. It feels different. It looks different. I'm here for different. And then on this one, which is pretty cool, is we do get his jacket. Now, poly pocket jackets, soft good jackets, it really splits the fence. There's people that love them, people that hate them. Very few in the middle. And I'm one of the, maybe the few that are in the middle. It just depends how it's done. But this is an interesting technology we've seen them use in the past. Uh, Kari Sane, we saw that with. But we get it with Edge where it moves at the arm. So you can have the hands up and down, side to side. I think they, they're they onto something here. I just think there's a way to perfect it, maybe even a little bit more. And you know what we always say on the channel here, constant learning, constant improvement. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from things you've done in the past. Try to make them better each time. And my hope is they can't make this better in the future. But an interesting edge, maybe one not for everybody, but for me, coming in at number nine in the top ten list. Feeling great at number eight in the edge top ten countdown. And for the first time, not the last time, we're going to the Ruthless Aggression style Jax figures. We're going all the way to Royal Rumble Edge, okay, Edge is Royal Rumble gear, just a, your paint-by-numbers um, Ruthless Aggression figure from, of course, Jax, but just something cool about this one, uh, and what is the coolest thing about it is the pants. I love the black, white, red kind of camo, you got the rated R, of course, you got his tattoos on there, a good body style for Edge, not the greatest Edge head scan, head sculpt, whatever you want to call it, for Jax, but passable. You know who it is. Once again, it passes the head test, but this is from the pay-per-view Royal Rumble line. Of course, Jax never scared to put out a figure as we do know, and they had, of course, the regular Ruthless Aggression line, the Ring Rage, the Treacherous Trios, the two packs. Uh, they also had the pay-per-view series, and of course, this being Royal Rumble was a pay-per-view series. I remember usually seeing the pay-per-view series at uh, Kmart's and Walmart's, but I'm sure they were at Target's, KB's, things like that. But I always did like this edge. It always stuck out. And what stuck out to me was the camo pants. Very colorful, very cool. And one that could have been easily done in the Jax Ruthless Aggression line or something else with a simple repaint. Not sure we're ever going to get that at this point here. But at least we got it from Jax. That's why it's coming in at number eight, the Edge Royal Rumble attire, Royal Rumble figure. Like a young Iron Maiden, I'm feeling a little bit of deja vu at number seven. And the number seven Edge figure, once again, comes from Jax, comes from Ruthless Aggression, comes from Ring Rage Series 35.5, all those half series, for a very similar Edge from the last one we saw. This is, of course, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Very similar, a cheap repaint, which isn't always a bad thing, especially in a case like this. I love this attire on Edge. I always love the silver, black, and purple attack really pops possibly his most iconic outfit ever if you ask me i like this that much uh not too much different between the last one it's pretty much the same thing with a repaint a little different color hair on this one a little bit more blonder in the hair not a bad thing another point of difference i'm here for but not a ton of bells and whistles basically the same as the last figure but i just like this color just a hair more and that's why it comes in at number seven <clears throat> 
We've hit the number six spot in our top 10 edge countdown. And number six, once again, we go to Mattel. We go to Elite Series 83 for the comeback elite of Edge. And not a bad Edge right here. Of course, Edge was also the Chase Edition in Series 83. I did buy multiples of these as well to display with the shirt on, with the shirt off, different hands, you know, the whole song and dance by this point. But once again, that maroon color gets me. I think it looks really good on older Edge, and he seems to go to the maroon colors fairly often here. Definitely a nice looking one here in the Elite line. Uh, very fun to get this one. Once again, you get the old heavy metal hands, you got the soft goods, you got the old man Edge head, which I don't have any problems with. I do enjoy it. Uh, just an all-around good edge you can set your old man edge watch to if you wanted to. Uh, just a really good figure and one I think a lot of people ended up getting. And even better, it was a chase figure. So you can buy both of them, pick your own poison, do whatever you want to do with an edge, a Series 83 Elite. So that's why he's coming in at number six. We've hit the halfway point in the countdown. We're ready for number five edge of all time. Before we get there, though, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to the other YouTube channel and let me know your list for edge. Don't forget to put that in the comments down below. But we've come to the number five spot and the number five edge of all time as voted by me. We're going to a very recent one, still on the store shelves as I'm filming this video. It is the Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression Edge, and I did mention this earlier with the Jax one, very similar, but this one, of course, the updated articulation, the updated bells and whistles that you get with, you know, 15 years later in figure technology, but just an iconic looking Edge here, absolutely love the pants on this one, just like I talked about with the Jax one, very good head sculpt again, we've seen this Edge head sculpt many a times, and basically at the end of the day, almost a simple reissue with some new paint, a little repaint action, but it works. It works once again here for this Edge. A very, very fun figure and one I was very excited for when they did announce this one. Just an all-around good Edge you can set your watch to. And like I said, currently at Walmarts right now, I'm sure it'll be all over eBay, everything else, sooner rather than later. If It, it probably already is. What am I saying? It's been on. If it's been at Walmart, it's been on eBay. That's usually the way it goes. But a very fun Edge here. Uh, very cool color combination. Would love to see him mix this color combination in a little bit more in modern days. Maybe in AEW as Adam Cole. Copeland. But there it is, Ruthless Aggression, Mattel Elite, Edge, coming in at number five. Next up, we're getting nearer and nearer to the end. We're at the number four spot in our Edge countdown. And number four is one of those figures, and we've talked about this in prior countdowns. It does come from the Jax Classic Superstars line. And it's one of those ones where you say, boy, this really doesn't feel classic. What's it doing in the line at the time? But the beauty is, here you are 16 years later, whatever it's been, and bam, this feels classic all day long. And it, of course, is Edge, Jack's Classic Superstars, one of 3,000 Toy Fair exclusive. Yes, you guys heard me right, one of 3,000 exclusive. Beautiful, beautiful soft goods coat on this one. Of course, you get the rated R spinner belt underneath. Got the blue tights. Uh, besides that, a lot of reuse, of course, from the Jax Ruthless Aggression line. is Classic Superstars, Ring Rage, Ruthless Aggression, Treacherous Trios, on and on. All share the same bodies. A lot of reuse back and forth. But they specialed this one up with the title belt and, of course, the nice robe on him. Or I should say jacket, more like it, on this edge. And, of course, being a part of that Jax Classic Superstars line, that's the top. That's the top line to be in, especially especially at the time, and being a 1 of 3,000 Toy Fair exclusive, even funner on top of that. So this Edge, a really good one, a gold standard of Edge figures, so much so. That's why it comes in at number 4 in my top 10 list. Dangerously close to the end of the list as we're at the number 3 spot in the Edge countdown here. And this is another one that's been fairly recent, uh, maybe 2-3 years ago, maybe 2021 I want to say this came out. But this one is a Ringside Collectibles Mattel Elite exclusive of edge and what is it it is the edge heads three pack version of edge now part of the specialness of this one is and it's something i would love to see mattel team do even more often and we see it from time to time we got a recently a legend series 20 you got an old man dibiase head and a young man one well they did something very similar in this one is you got Ryder and Hawkins heads and Edge's head. So theoretically, you should buy three. That's what I did. You buy three of them. You got Edge and his Edge heads. I thought that was a neat idea. Instead of having to release a three pack or something different, it was a way people could buy three of them if they wanted to. Or for whatever reason, you just want Edge, you just buy one. Or I guess if you want Hawkins or Ryder, you could have just bought one for them as well. But I thought this was a very cool thing that they did at Mattel. I would love to see this more often in the future with different heads uh, being included. I think that would be really 
really fun. We see that with Marvel Legends. They give us heads every once in a while, even of characters that uh, don't have bodies. We've seen that with Silvermane in the past, for example, Alundra, uh, a few others over the years. But this Edge is a fun one. Of course, a much younger Edge than where he is right now. So you do get a little younger look here. Besides that, your regular Edge Elite. But it's more about the specialness, the exclusive of it, the backdrop, the three-in-one figure in a lot of ways. Just a very, very cool one. And one I would love to see them do more often in the future. So this Edge Ringside Collectibles Mattel Elite exclusive coming in at number three. We've hit the number two spot in the top ten list, getting dangerously close to number one. But the number two one, looking at all these figures, this quite possibly could be the most controversial Edge figure of all time. And maybe in light of recent circumstances with him jumping to AEW, maybe it might make this one even more controversial. Well, he still came in at number two on my top ten list. It is Mattel WWE ultimate edge coming in at number two now i can see a lot of people saying now oh now edge is gone we've lost all opportunity we should have got the classic defining edge in the ultimate line why did they start with a modern day return edge they should have went classic i'm sure there's somebody out there somewhere saying that of course but uh edge coming back at the royal rumble such an iconic moment such a huge huge moment I got no issues with this figure. I like this figure a lot. Uh, it is an interesting one. This was the first one. I, I believe this was the first one that had the big expression-like face on him. Like just a crazy head. Not a huge fan of that, but I do like that they give us extra heads like this one. So if you're not in on that, you can use something like this. But there's a lot of people that say, oh, I'm going to have Edge displayed given a spear. And he's got that crazy wild head with the hair flowing. I think it's cool for toy photographers, people that want that kind of stuff, and it's really diversifying the portfolio a little bit. So giving us something a little bit different and truly is the ultimate edge with all that kind of stuff going on. But like I said, I see some people say probably they wish they got a younger version, but I'm okay for what this is. Possibly the biggest surprise in a heck of a long time was his Royal Rumble return. That was not on anybody's bingo card at the time, if we all remember back to that. Uh, of course, him going to AEW, there have been a lot of rumors. There have been a lot of chatter. A lot of chatter going on. So it was a surprise, but not a massive surprise like his return at the Royal Rumble. At least for me, from where I sit. And as you guys know, I sit right here at this very table. So number two for me, WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition, Edge. And what's going to be number one? Only one way to find out. Stay tuned. Here we are, we've arrived at the number one Edge figure of all time as voted by me, and this one's going to surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are going to say, I don't even remember this figure, but that's the way it goes, and that's why it's my list, and you need to make sure you put your list in the comments down below in this very video. And of course, don't forget, every single Thursday on the channel, we're counting down my top five, usually, and occasionally, like today, my favorite top ten list, and doing even more of that on the other YouTube channel as well, so make sure you subscribe to that one along the way. But now we are here at the number one Edge figure of all time as voted by me. And this one, we're going back to the Jax Ruthless Aggression days. We're going to one of those rare belt two-packs that comes with a child-sized toy belt and two figures. And it came, of course, with one Mick Foley and Edge. And here it is, old Edge looking good. Now, to me, this was my favorite thing Edge was ever a part of, was his time with Mick Foley. Of course, Beulah was there. We had Lita there. We had Tommy Dreamer. And we had the man, the myth, the legend, Terry Funk as well. An all-timer of a time. And really one of those matches that really, to me, elevated Edge to superstardom once and for all. He was right there at the top. But that was what propelled him. And when I think of Edge, a lot of times I think back to that match. And I think of him wearing this black vest and his blue jeans here. Absolutely love the looks of this one. Now, we did get this similar look in the Elite line. Unfortunately, it just did not work out. That head sculpt on that Edge just did not work. This one, I feel, is down to a T. And I love the screaming, yelling, he is ready for battle head sculpt on this one. And a very cool pack with that belt, which I'm not a big belt guy, as you guys know, but get a Foley and an Edge two-pack. You get two chances for autographs. Just a lot of fun stuff from Jax back in the day. And some things like this, really forgotten to time, as a lot of people have forgot about this two-pack or didn't even know this two-pack ever existed. And that's one of those things with Edge figures. So many figures over the Jax days, then even into the Mattel days when you count the basics, the showdowns, all the kit and caboodle we've talked about here on the channel. But at the end of the day, for me, this is the one. This is my favorite Edge figure. I'm probably the only one with this at number one, and I totally get it. And like I always say, that's why it's my list. So Edge from the two-pack belt pack 
with Mick Foley from Jax is my favorite Edge figure of all time. But I'm going to ask you guys last time, what is your favorite Edge? Put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. Give it the old Hacksaw Jim Duggan thumbs up. And don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, you name it. All going on over there at the old Patreon. Best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and on Threads. So for the top 10 edge figures of all time, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.